beautiful people welcome to Remy's fashion my name is Remy on this channel we upload pattern drafting and sewing tutorials every week please subscribe and put on your notification bell so that anytime I upload new tutorials you'll be the first to be notified in this tutorial I'm going to show you so let's get started We're going to make our own bra cups and I'm using a wording. These are the patterns that we drafted. So now I'm going to add half an inch seam allowance on this side, on the top, on this side, on the top. I'm not going to add any seam allowance on the inner part of this pattern because I'm going to be using a zigzag stitch to join both of them together. If you do not have a machine that has a zigzag stitch, add sewing allowance to the inner part to join them together. But for me, I'm going to be using a zigzag stitch to connect them together. So these cups, I'm going to be cutting them out on wording. Make sure you label your pieces and add your seam allowances. So once I cut out, I'm going to label them. So now I'm going to add half an inch seam allowances all around this pattern apart from the inner part because just like I said earlier, I'm going to be joining them together with a zigzag stitch. So you see, I've added my half an inch seam allowances on both sides. So I'm going to cut it out now. this is what they look like and before you take off your patterns make sure you notch i'm going to notch and i'm going to mark so that i do not mix them up i'm going to notch these edges and i know this is where i'm going to be connecting both of them together okay just a bit of a notch and then i'm going to notch here as well just a tiny bit i know that this is where i'm going to be joining them together i'm actually going to write left and right just indicate so that you know what you're doing this is one and this is two you can still write the same thing you wrote on the pattern for just for you to be able to identify your pieces once you take off your patterns for the bra cups i cut two of each two of the left hand side and two of the right hand side so make sure you add your notches as well for you to be able to connect the patterns together and then make sure you put labels as well you can still write l left one two R. So you know this is your right hand side and this is your left hand side. So when you hold them together, you, this is how you're going to sew them together. You're not mixing them up. All I did was I added half an inch seam allowance at the top and on the side. At the top and on the side. So I did not add any seam allowance in the middle. I'm going to be using zigzag stitch to join the two together to be able to form the cups. So if you do not have a machine that has a zigzag stitch, you can go ahead and add half an inch seam allowance on both sides. But since I have a machine that has a zigzag stitch, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to join them together with a zigzag stitch. I also cut fabric cover and lining cover for my bra cups. So you're going to cut two of each, two fabric and two lining. And then if you do not know how to cover the bra cups, I have a tutorial on this channel on how to cover ready-made bra cups with lining and fabric. I'll put the link in the description box below and on the cards above. It's the same process you're going to be using to cover your homemade bra cups. That is the process I'm going to be using. So follow that process to be able to cover your bra cups. You take your pattern pieces. That's the breast cup. You make sure the left, this is the left, it's on your left. And then the right is on your right. And then you make sure you align them together like they are kissing. And then we'll sew. A back stitch so that holds up as you're sewing you're putting them together like this see together and the zigzag stitch is holding them together see it's making that curve you see how it curved in see see how i'm just holding them close together see to the end then I'm going to back stitch, and this is my homemade cup. So this is the right side, and this is the wrong side. So this is the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the second one. You do exactly the same thing. 
make sure you have them in the right place if you're not sure you use your pattern to cross check but before you take out your pattern make sure you have aligned them so i put them together like this just like i did for the first one they are kissing each other very closely and then i'll use my zigzag stitch and then i'm going to back stitch to hold them together firmly all i'm doing is bringing them close together forming that curve This is all I'm doing. You see how they kiss and the match up at the end? This is what you should have. You see how they match up? Back stitch at the beginning and at the end to lock in your stitches. And this is the second one. All done. This is the right side and this is the wrong side. So these are our two homemade bra cups. So go ahead and cover your homemade bra cups with fabric and lining. Follow the process on the video that I've already made that is on this channel on how to cover already made bra cups with fabric and lining. These are our homemade bra cups. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to give them a good press. I've also gone ahead and I've sewn the covers, both the lining and the main fabric. These are the lining pieces and these are the covering for the right side, the front. So I'm going to be using my tailor's ham, homemade tailor's ham. And I'm going to give my bra cup a good press and the coverings as well. Just make sure you do not put too much heat on it. I'll do the same thing for the second one. And these are my coverings. I've already sewn and notched all the pieces. So I'm just going to be opening them. So I'm going to press open my seams on all my coverings. When you're doing this, you should use a tailor's ham. So this is how I'm going to cover it. I'm going to go ahead and finish ironing the seams. I'm going to open them and then I'm going to cover the breast cups. I have a tutorial on this channel on how to cover bra cups with lining and fabric. I'm going to follow that same process and I'll cover my bra cups. So I'll now cover the breast cups. I've done one. So I'll follow the same procedure. I'll cover this one. So I'm just going to sew. See, I've done it. So I'll now cover the inside. This is the inner part and this is the outer part. So we'll follow our process of covering a ready-made bra cup to cover the inner part as well. So I'm just going to do that now and then I'll show you what it looks like. I'll now understitch all the seam allowances on the lining. This is what it looks like. I'll reduce this bulk and then I will cover it at the bottom and then we are done. So I'm sewing the lining now, the bottom part. And this is it done. So go ahead and do yours. This is the inner part and this is the outer part. Trim out the excess now. This is our homemade bra cup. So the next thing we're going to do now is to give this a good press and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then these are our cups. So we've sewn the cups. This is the inside and this is the right side. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next tutorial. Take care and God bless.